Welcome back. We're going to be talking about Android data binding. The idea about data binding is to create an object that connects, maps, binds two pieces of distant information together at compile time so that the system doesn't have to look for it at runtime. Uh, imagine where you have a deep nested uh, layout and the system has to traverse to actually pick out a particular ID deep rooted that will actually hamper performance. That is why the essence of data binding comes to play. In this example, I'm going to show you on how to set up data binding in your application. We have two forms of data binding, the straight up uh, form, which you just add your layout. And we have the other one, which is the data class, where you need to map uh, different key value pairs to your uh, XML uh, programmatically. Now we're going to S3 to under studio, I'll show you how to do both. In this example, I have a basic linear layout, which is just an orientation of vertical, where each of the widgets are stuck underneath each other. I have a text view uh, that actually just spit out my name, and then the text underneath uh, that takes, uh, takes in our uh, data, uh, which is a nickname and the button to trigger uh, the commit of that particular uh, edit and uh, the text view underneath to display what you actually type into the edit text. So it's purely basic. Uh, in the main activity, there's a Kotlin implementation. We have the basic uh, view, by, view by ID where we're trying to pick out each of the components or the widgets ID. The first is the button where we have to call the DOM button, set on a click listener to that and trigger a function, uh, which is add nickname. And in the two implementation we have underneath there, uh, we have to call the ID of the nickname edit and the nickname text. Uh, what we're doing in line 27, we are trying to uh, uh, get the edit text value and we are passing that into the nickname text view just for display. Uh, we set, we try to empty out the, the text and uh, create the visibility of the nickname after everything has been done. After that, you need to add your keyboard. So that's just purely basic. Now we're going to uh, uh, implore, we're going to introduce uh, the data binding. Firstly, we head straight to the BigRadio, the model app, and uh, you're going to actually type in your data binding in here to uh, trigger data binding. So we're going to do that right now. Data binding. And you're going to enable that by calling enabled equals to true, set a flag to true, and you could sync your project. Add straight to your activity main, you need to actually create the layout. Yeah, let's take this out. Uh, drop this a little bit down. Come over here. Open tag and click on layout. So that is actually going to bring your layout. The closing layout is going to be underneath uh, the whole stuff. So I'm going to actually close that. Cut that out. And take it down the closing linear layout. Now I'm going to give it a little indentation and I'm going to report the schemas. All right, you're fine. Now it is data binding compliant. After that, you head to your main activity. We need to take off all the view by ID. Uh, before you do that, we have to take a few steps. The first one is to Create the late init variable called private late init var. We call it binding. And it's binding to the activity main binding. All right. So you have the import, the data binding, activity main binding. That's not all you need to initialize these uh, by doing that right in the set content view. But let me just create a new one. I'll call that binding. 
equals, you need to initialize it to the overview itself, theta binding, you too, or the, now you could now set the content view, so I can bring it back, dot set content view. So cool, dot set content view, so you need to pass in one parameter, which is this particular activity, the activity itself. So what you're going to be doing over now, we need to take over by removing the find view by IDs. Now we're going to do this by uh, calling the binding and now the ID itself, you need to now use the camel case for each. For it's you know, it's in underscore, so it's going to be now a camel case. So we will go to and say binding dot done button. That's fine, it's pure, clean. Now in the function, add nickname, we also have to do the same. I'm going to comment this out. I will later delete it, but I just want to be sure of its ID now. Now in the nickname, I'm still going to do the same binding dot. Now the nickname, which is the nickname text. So it's going to be nickname text as you've seen. For the dictext text is going to be binding nickname uh, nickname edit text edit. So for any edit, you'll be replacing with this. And for any text view, you'll be replacing with this. Cool, you're fine. Now I could take out this. Even for, for more simplicity, I could go further to use the Kotlin binding apply. Now, I'll take you with this binding call Libris and lock it over here so I could easily take away any binding I have. It's going to work as expected. Okay, we're fine. This is pure, this is simple. You could run the code and it should work as expected. Let's get to run it. Now we're going to do the second one, which is for the data class. You have a class called name. And in this class, we have two parameters, the name and the nickname, pass as a data class. So how are we going to bind this uh, right there in our layout? We're going to do that in the layout. Let's see our, wow, fine. So let's kind of type delivery, done. Cool, expected, this is what we need. So we could see that speeded out, our nickname comes out. Now let's go further to use the data class. Now we're going to go to the activity main and we're going to do some little tweak. Right at the top, we're going to bring in the data. We'll close that. In there, we have a variable. And uh, we have a name and type. The name now will be my name. While the type is going to point to the domain. Uh, so it's going to be um, Studios dot, excuse me, dot, the tab dot multiple dot or name now. That's the type. So you are fine. You set up, you have the name. Oh, let's get to look at it again. Uh, the name or oh, name, my name. Cool. Okay. Now we now have to tweak the text views. We'll be doing that for the layout as we want. Now we have a linear layout here, the text view, which is actually going to speed out our name and uh, we are for the nickname. Now in the string text over here, we're going to change that. We're going to write inline uh, rules, which we're going to do by going using at sign equals to the color brace, my name, dot name 
you have that set up my name dot name it close the curly brace all right my name dot name and uh, for the edit text uh you're going to have my name dot nickname okay and for your year two you can to have my name dot nickname so now let's go to the text view over here so we could bring in 100 texts you just say text at equals to my name dot nickname you see that we'll find my name dot the nickname the same thing we'll be doing for this edit text oh excuse me it's going to be text i paste that in there at equals to my name dot the nickname we're fine so we're not true we're not completely finished that now we're going to actually do some tweak further in the main activity we now have to create because we don't have the my name dot name set up we only we only set the edit text now we need to do val now we'll call my name equals to oh no now it's going to actually uh name okay we're creating an object of that equals to name brackets so I'm going to do mommy daily we're going to get all right, so we are we now have the name itself. So we could bind by saying binding dot my name we now equals to what the value my name pure and simple. Uh, the dumb button still flows. Uh, now when we get to the uh, the edit text now, we're going to do a little tweak. Which we're gonna do this way. For we're gonna take one out. We call my name question mark, which is or trying to see if this is not long nickname. Nickname. My name nickname. equals to the nickname edit is equals to this text it should be my name dot nickname all right it should be nickname edit text require string now you know to string so we could actually stay at a customer in case now I'm going to take this away because that's the value of the nickname nickname text nickname edit text dot text you get it all right you don't need this so we can do we're good to go let's try to see if we are right on point using the data objects uh, to the data class to actually uh, manipulate this particular uh, flow. So we have that the name set up uh, and uh, okay. All right, can you see we still have it set up as BAM daily? Now let's go to do. All right. 
was te fijn. Dat nickname en de tekst to string. So right there, uh, we'll be calling it a tail, and I'll employ you to actually uh, implement and try it out. Uh, so thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this video, and don't go anywhere.